Hello, one and all, and welcome back to where I'm going to be balefully stumbling my way through Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. It has been a long time since I last played this. Oh, so sorry if, I, if it sounds like my voice slowly changes, because I'll keep looking behind me because the my cat keeps staring at me from the window stone. It's a little creepy, especially when I'm playing this game. But as you do, as you do, we're back with Stalker and I do have something to uh, let everyone know. I did do, do a recording session between this and the previous one, but I am um, that recording session I had to, I have to basically redo, which is what this is going to be. As you can see, I've been into the Yomi Warehouse and I think I did a good chunk of it, like pretty much probably all of it, near enough, well most of it. And we're going to be starting up from the start of the army warehouse. But you didn't really miss much because the last procession I ended it in the bar. And it basically just walked into the army warehouse and nothing happened, if I remember correctly. And yeah, that was like many months ago when I last did that. <laughs> so I'm really bad, I'm sorry. But the PC is here now. I can relax, I can record this as often as I want. And this music's ended, huh? So yeah, we're going to start in the army warehouse, so let's see how long it, it, um, this whole session probably be here. But yeah, so let's go back into it then. Yeah, make sure to have the ammo on and make sure I'm pressing the right buttons as well, that'll help. Smooth, that was really smooth. I swear this thing's bud. Because what happens is you meant to come over here, that girl will tell you to not do a thing. And then these three get all ambushed. Got what they deserve. That's a bit weird, and they of course loot the bodies. Oh, I'm gonna let them do that. Oh wait, they haven't looted the bodies, they were just checking make sure they're dead. Most of them to leave me the, you know, guns and ammo. Yeah, so let's drop that. I need to re look at my equipment. I don't know what I've been doing. It's been four months, so things are a bit blind. So yeah, those duty guys just queued three freedom guys, so this is the first time we properly are introduced to freedom. And they're uh, straight away already dead. I mean, I suppose you could probably try and help them, but it's not worth it, to be honest. You're going to die horribly. There's like six duty guys there on duty. Where's his buddy? I can't actually see. Well, I found a gun. Oh, there's a buddy. Kid you not, I can't actually see. For a second, I thought I wasn't wearing a suit. <laughs> okay, I am. I also seem to have no weight I'm carrying. A lot of ammo. Right, of course I am. Of course I'll be carrying a lot of ammo, why wouldn't I be? So first things first, let's go to the rest of the duty guys. Are these like the duty minigate guys? I forget. So I'm just fiddling with my head here. Thank you Fluffy for that. Freaking no, just jumped down behind me. She's not going to the windows here. So yeah, these are duty guys. Off. Who do you staring at, scumbag? Don't you worry. I'm going to get you sooner or later. Are you talking to me then, or... Are you talking to someone that's over there? Why does that guy hate me? I didn't do anything. Did I? I didn't even fight a single belly. So this is the guy that's in charge of duty. I'm just wondering where the heck did my cat go? I heard they jumped down and... She's like nowhere to be found. She's a damn ninja, that's what she is. I'm here on a mission. Would you like to join us? Uh, what is it? So I'm just saying I'm up for it. 
Excellent. There behind that here is the main breeding ground of those bastards. The free ones. I've been moved out the way, Woot. And me and my boys are going to stay up properly. There's just one little problem. The base has only one entrance and it's well guarded. We thought of busting a hole in the fence, but their snipers in the tower won't let us. I don't want to send my guys to catch his bullets, but you, he let you come close and definitely won't shoot on sight. If you take him out, we owe you. Plus, if you get us as, as planned, you'll be able to take any equipment at the base whenever you want. Go on. I already told you. All you need to do is knock off the snipe at the tower of the build defense. So, what do you say? No! Screw you, I'm not doing it. If you're coming here to our blockhead, I respect you. If not, get the hell out of my sight. We need real men and not sissies. Get enough of those already. Okay, you've got nothing worth to sell. Yeah, because I like freedom. I'm not gonna fucking betray them for duty. And these guys are well quit. Look at these. Here you got Kong, Simon Snake. Senior Polar Explorer, Fitcher Samia. Samoan? Yes, Samoan. And Anton Chukka. I was I didn't say this guy's name. No, not you, do one. German Mason. Because that is a fun name. Ooh, ammo, I saw that. Also, oh, I apologise in defence of us in Westy. I oh, have not played this game in forever. So I may get confused of what's what. Oh yeah. Over here we got some loners. I think one of them's my jetted to cure them as well. Yep, I've got an objective to cure traitor that's white here. This guy I believe. He's smart ass. I was gonna say master, but that's someone else. There's a little cottage here, it needs to be calm, but now there are some creatures about reading here. Better loop around, so that's why I'm going around. Hey man, I warned you. Uh, what are we talking about? And he's just got such for sale. So yes, I've got a quest to kill him and I'm probably not going to do it. But, look who it is everyone, it's a wolf. Nice to see you buddy. Hello much one, what's your occasion? You've got no jobs. And he's also saying the same thing as smart ass. But yeah, Wolf from Corden, the leader of the Wookiee village, is now, he now stays here. Oh, oh, that glass exploded. And I'll just take that fucker out. So yeah, he also tend in the original version. He tends to like bug out and die on this fire. But I don't know if a patch fixed it or if the mod fixed it. But I'm pretty sure it's been fixed now. So hopefully he, you know, live yeah, unless he gets shot and everything. Yay! But yeah, in case anyone wonders what his story is, he actually came to here to help the duty guys blow up the wall and the fence. Like yeah, I believe he supplies the dynamite. Hmm. There's a lot in there on a walk. Huh. I gotta tell you, everyone, it's been forever since I played Stalker, and the moment I just turned it on, I just feel like I'm back in the zone. It just feels, it just feels right. I, I do miss this. And Wolf was I'm gonna seem talking to himself, unless he was talking to me, and I was just ignoring him. And um, I apologise in offence, Wolf. Um, that was very weird of me. And then we got this guy, Father Diodor. I'm pretty sure he's a guy that always spawns as well, along with smart ass. They're all saying the exact same thing, even though these three are not specifically always stay here. But Wolf stays here once he's, you know, done certain stuff in. I don't know what actually sets him to move. I know it's gotta be a main, main quest. I assume it's gotta be getting the documents in Agropon sets him off. It's the only thing I can think of. Then again. Mm, yeah, it's gotta be. So yeah, this is the army warehouses. It's pretty, don't you think? Yeah, you know, rain, birds flying in the sky, anomalies scattered about the place, but it does have the best faction. Or in terms, should I say, my favourite faction, because I know people get a bit hissy washy with, you know, which faction's best, and it all turns into a big opinion of people like that faction, people like another faction. 
So clearly they think their favourite's going to be the best. Ooh, there's a... Um, stash, that's the word. I was like, what is it? It's not treasure. Buried some goods under the cross by the village. Now that I'm away from the bad stuff, I'm thinking, what was I thinking? So you just dumped a bunch of stuff there. Fair enough. And okay, so we're going to go into the actual base. Because it's really worth to go into the base. There's a, quite a few quests you can do there. Oh, you can hear like showing in the distance. We'll deal with that later. How my weapons? Do I have any, you know... Hmm. And so if you can hear the alarm, the uh, sirens in the background. I now live on the main street, so... Yeah, there's not much of quiet. Oh, weapons. Okay, this weapon's quite good in condition. But I'll leave this one out for now. Hey, guys! So where was the unfriendly that was staring at me from over here somewhere? I don't actually know. Fucking hell, that guy's super loud. Came from a distance. Hey, buddy! How are you? Tim Pasta. What's that, Wambly man? Looking to drop in at a place, huh? Something like that. How about joining us, huh? How about not? I'm here on business. Come on, join us. It's often. I'll think about it. Why not? Uh, so who's the boss? And what's your business? I've got information. He's named Lukash. That's the leader of the Freedom Faction. Uh, I do like Freedom. But they are also a bit crazy. To sum it up. Uh, you got anything interesting to say? The you keep on screaming about their superhero deeds and the barrier. If only someone believed them. We began this deal and we're the ones that keep it going. And on top of that, many of the Lunars like yourself willing to willingly stay behind. But those goes from the duty, the asses, the how of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so freedom and duty do not like each other. Pretty much if one sees the other, they will shoot on sight. Come up here. Let's have a good chat. Who actually said that? I can't tell because you're all wearing gas masks. And no lips moved. No, there's no statue in here. I'm thinking of um, the anomaly mod, right? Because the anomaly adds a lot more sashes and everything. Nothing trying to make it that so okay, so he's on guard duty. Good to know. And trick. <laughs> Did you hear for the what the guys from saying they do to us? Turn them to dust, and that's just the bare minimum. The whole thing worries me, especially since people say they we armed themselves with the state of the art equipment. Huh, interesting. That's interesting information, I gotta admit. Alright, let me just put my uh, the yeah, reposition myself. Okay, okay. Uh, um, the oh, my headset goes out the way. Oh, I found my cat. She's on the pillow now. Resting. I oh, said so the person that told me to have a little chat. He's actually standing right here. I thought he pissed off. I was like, oh, I was going. Never mind. His name's Teddy. Man, you're in the Freedom Base. Relax. Make yourself at home. I see. Behave, okay? Got it. Try fooling around and you be sorry. We had a slow weird one here once. He pissed everyone off so bad that we made him take a hike on the minefield, naked. Oh. Why? We should have heard Skimpflick curse him when that dude's arm fell square on his head. That was something special. Yeah, so you got the idea? I do indeed. Don't piss off freedom, because their punishments are really, really harsh. Good man, dismissed. So basically, he was just basically telling us, behave, don't do something stupid, and you will get along fine. I meet up with one of the duty men when there's a ceasefire. We share, the man's actually smart, but shit now I'm like your tank. You see, F why can I not say this word? I can speak. Philosophy. That's the closest I'm ever gonna get, I'm sorry. It's completely different from theirs. You can already tame the zone, assimilate it, but not destroy it. To do it, we need to open access to all of the information. Soon we'll come up with something we eventually, but they're all about close it and lock it and don't spread it around. Retards, complete retards. On the other hand, it makes sense when the whole political machine is behind you. You're not supposed to think outside the box. Okay. Nice no, information. Um, how do I get up here again? Oh, it's through here. Right, so we have a guy on lookout up here somewhere. I think he's at the top. 
Here he is. Yeah, I remember that one before. What's your name? Bruce. Bruce. Okay. So yeah, he's, uh, he has a good lookout of anything in the immediate area, so he can warn the guys down there if someone's coming to ruin their day. Also, you, yeah, that showing we heard? It's coming from in that wooden shack. And there's also a minefield between here and there. You see those little um, lines? Those are the mines, because the game's very nice to tell us where the mines are. And we do get told about that as well, I believe. I can't remember who gives us the mission, but someone here tells us about it. There's quite a bit of talking to do here. I also need to remember where the stash is. Was it in one of those buildings, or am I thinking of Anomaly again? I could be thinking of Anomaly. Hello, good sir. Hold on. Oh, there's two guys up there. I'm not going to speak to every random person I see. Oh, that's the guy. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. We've spoken to him already. Now, I think the stash is in one of these. I think it's in that one, personally. And I think there's something else in this one. It's a bit dark, though. Oh, hello. Petra Rabbit. Rabbit, wake up, man. Wake up. Kick. 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 Oh, he's a sound sleep. Oh, I'll let him sleep. Why not? As I make a ton of noise, breaking boxes. Wah! Okay, there was just a bandage, but bandage is useful. I've got 27 bandages, fucking hell. I am loaded on a pharmacy and uh, armory. And is there anything in this one? Oh, more boxes. Oh, an artifact. Oh, two artifacts. I thought there was a weapon of some kind in here, or was it in the other building? Or am I thinking a completely different game again? Could be. No, my luck. And it's about almost 7pm in game time, that is. Ooh, something that fun in here. Hmm. It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Okay, am I going to be an idiot? I thought there were... Oh, there it is! And then we have our stash here. So I just picked up the Finter BC. It's a sniper rifle. And it's really handy, because like, it zooms in quite a bit. I do like using that gun, although I've got no ammo for it. I forget if I have ammo for it in one of the other boxes. I don't remember. Right, for now, put it in the box, and what did I pick up? Was it a soul? Oh no, it was a stone blood. <sighs> Don't need dirt stuff on me at the moment. I have a bunch of souls to heal me. Slug to help with the bleeding. Then again, I got the Mika. I don't really need the slug, do I? And then I've also got lots of endurance, so I don't need to worry about being electric shot. And then I got that to remove the electric shot minus, and it also gives me a plus, I believe. Yep, another plus 10. Happy days! I don't have anything that gives me uh, minus radiation, do I? Not yet. So, I could use that as well if I need to go, if I need the help. And I got the chemical burn if I need to go into some kind of dangerous areas. So, we can get rid of the um, slug for now. And I've still got a way too much stuff on me. Huh. Fancy that. I'm just trying to work out the best way to mail this down. So I'll pick stuff up. If I pick up anything heavy, it's pretty much gonna screw me over. Seven, three, four. 
Yeah. Three, four. Because all these midkits do add up, I've got to admit. I don't need that many midkits, surely. I know, I mean, I know I get hit a lot. But I don't need more than 30 at the max. Um, take five of those. I don't really have two abs either, do I? But then I don't really weigh much. I mean, all the stuff added together does add up, though. Well, that'll do for now, I guess. That'll do for now. Right, so to leave, I have to go back this way and go over here. Wait. I'm actually curious, who's, who's this person over here? Oh, it's the Golden Tower. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> well, I got that sorted out. Yeah, so we've got a few towers around. And as you can see, there are a lot of people around. But let's Teddy on Betrayal again. Yeah, there's quite a few Freedom Girls around, as you can see here. Come up here. Let's have a little chat. All right, picture ventilator. I think this is the crazy guy. Ah, Wookie, okay, come over a sec. Uh, don't get it. What didn't you get? Oh, you haven't heard the story about the slow weird ones, huh? Didn't Teddy tell us about something about the slow weird one? And I can't for the life of me remember what he actually said. He said certainly they did something bad. All right, look, think about it. These are lean times. Why? Uh, that's easy. A hungry soldier is a bad soldier. And there's so many of us. You're not going to suggest what I think you're going to suggest, are you? Where would we get them that much meat? And look, here you are. You can't beat me, you freaking madman. Where are you going? Stay, it's nice here. And we have you having dinner tonight. Yeah, you're going to be having... I'm not your dinner, mate. Go away. What shit? Why didn't you tell me that before? We've just been wasting time. Get lost, but face. And this time I'm dead serious. All right, see you. Fucking git. Fucking wanna need me. Mad man. Oh, there's a stash over here as well. Let's have a little chat. What does everyone want to have a chat with me for? Hello. Oh yeah, by the way, there's the freedom logo. It's basically like a wolf of some kind. Can let me get through. There we go. It's quite cool, isn't it? I like it. Right. Oh, wait, Maxi Bay? Your name's Maxi Bay. Yeah, good. Good. I remember. What's up, Stalker? What you got? I've got business to discuss. Can you show me the way to your boss? You want Lukash? He's a leader. Go to the main building. Okay. I think Max is sort of like the second or third guy in command. If I remember correctly. But he's quite cool. There's nothing new. There are no more artifacts here. And he knows little cottages bloodsuckers used to live. We shot them off best as we could. Now I want, went and can't get to the place. Intuition maybe, but I can't and that's it. No way, there is death there. You're telling me basically the bloodsuckers are back there. Because there's a village nearby. And it's a place everyone here is afraid of. But usually you say Max is the guy that does the dirty work for Lukash. Or he leads the squad to do it. And then everyone else there just chews with the campfire and such. Sweet time and everything. And I picked up a lot of stuff again, haven't I? Yeah, like that gun. I won't be using because this other gun I've got is so much better. Well, so here, by the way, everyone, is the main building. Oh, screw. Hello. You got something that's broken, man? Broken? Ah, you're not here to ask for help. I help you. I'm getting sick and tired of that. As soon as something breaks, they'll to me and stop wondering about it. And who are you? I don't actually know who you are. I'm a mechanic, a Mr. Fixit of sorts. I repair guns and whatever else they bring me. Right now, I'm working on these cars. Why are you working on the cars? How's it going? 
Nothing but rubbish. I'm totally beat. Listen, you got any vodka on you? I, um, you want a nice scope? Are the rest of the to this? No. Sure, last. If you have some coming in, don't be a stranger. Okay. Huh. I do have some vodka in the box. I'm actually going to grab it real quick. If I remember my way there. This place is quite big, but you don't get as lost as you do in... The bar. In fact, the play, this place is actually quite easy. This is big and open. I do have myself a fart car. I don't know if this come back. Oh my god, how much ammo do I have? I did not realise I've got given that much ammo. Right, what's he gonna... So he's gonna give me a nice scope apparently, if I give him Fodka. And I don't use Fodka, so sure. Oh yeah, here's the main entrance to the main base, we're to the main building. Uh, well, go in a, in a bit. I, had, I don't remember you though, I definitely don't remember doing this in the session I lost... I, um, you know, had to redo. I definitely don't remember. I don't remember you at all. Hey, take it. And I got myself a scope. Hey, can you fix my stuff? Sure, it costs you. <gasps> you repair my stuff! How much stuff? How much money have I got? Oh, I'm rich. Okay, I can do it. We can afford it. Oh, wow, that's amazing. You can fix the equipment. Oh, that's perfect. So, I got a scope that does feckle. Okay. Fair enough. But the fact that I can actually repair my stuff here is a godsend. I'm definitely not pissing off freedom now. <laughs> 